guys, it's Anne. Welcome to the channel. And today we're going to take a look in on my new lasagna bin. Uh, if you have not seen this, this is a super easy DIY worm bin that you don't even have to shred paper for or, or go collect leaves. This is just sheets of Amazon boxes or cereal boxes, etc., and food layered on top. I've seen some gnats here, so I may have made some poor life choices. So, let's see what's going on here. So our first layer of the lasagna has quite a bit of worms. Looks like quite a bit of castings even. And uh, let's see how they're doing. Uh, maybe pumpkin here. We may have put the feeding from um, when we were trying to migrate the worms in here, so this might be why it's got a little bit more castings. I forgot to watch the video. Shocker. But uh, we got a lot of worms here in the middle. And let's see what I've got. This is the grass, I think, that was in my outside bin that I didn't want to go to seed. Or I didn't want it to germinate. Let's look at the next layer down. Looks like they have quite a bit of food left here. And it also looks like I need to do a better job covering it up because we have got a gnat apocalypse going on here. So I'm going to go get my vinegar, uh, apple cider vinegar, and put it in a cup and leave it next to this bin. And that will usually grab a couple hundred very quickly. So we've got banana in here. Looks like we got an onion and worms. I like to point out my. Uh, Worms do not agree with people's forbidden food. They love their onions and they love their citrus. So let's look at the next layer down, if possible, um, and see what's going on down there. And it looks like pumpkin and something, but worms down here too. We're getting some castings along the side. Tea bag. I think I smell citrus. Might have been something citrusy. Let's bury that avocado thing in there and the pumpkin stem. But we still have a good sheet of cardboard in here. So this is a reasonably new lasagna bin, so I don't expect to see much uh, progress quite yet. Let's look at the other side and see what's going on there. And that's just how I look in on my lasagna bins. I just kind of pull them back. Um, looks like I've got quite a bit of mold on a banana. I don't think I've seen mold on a banana like that before. But you see all the worms are around the edges eating the food that is easy to get to. Like right here, it looks like they're in a bunch of limes. Um, you know, as they break down, the acidity, you know, becomes more neutral. Um, or it must. I haven't done the pH on this, but if they're crawling around in it, it must be it must be decent for them. Otherwise, everything would be up here in the old castings. So let's see. Our top noodle here is uh, getting a little bit of action, so we'll put that back down, and then I'm going to put my bubble wrap back on as good as I can. And these are future noodles. So as they finish their food, we will layer it and put one of these noodles on top. But right now, they are good for the food. We don't need to feed them. And that's one of the things you need to learn as a new worm farmer, or sometimes even an old worm farmer like me. Um, if they don't need food, don't feed it to them. Even if you got a surplus, stick it in the freezer, throw it in your outside compost bin. But you're not doing your worms any favor if you overfeed them. If you like this video, I have an entire playlist for the lasagna bin. But if you like this video in particular, give it a muddy thumbs up. If you're not a member of my worm family, click that subscribe button. And if you want to know what I'm doing when I'm doing it, ring that bell icon. Alright guys, thanks for hanging out with me and my worms, and everybody, have a good day.